What's the deal, yo? Today we're gonna talk about the Simpson Paradox, very famous in statistics. It is really important because it makes us notice that we must be really careful in order not to mess up when dealing with statistics. This paradox happens when we see a certain trend appearing in different sets of data, yet when we consider these groups simultaneously and together, the tendencies seem to disappear or even reverse. For example, let's say that Miss Jenny has a class with 100 students. Yes, it's stupid, no class has 100 students, but it's math. Deal with it. Let's assume that 10 of them are female and their average in one year is 80%. All the other students are male and have an average of 90%. Thus, the average of the class is equal to 89%. Now, imagine that in the next year, that teacher had 50 female students and 50 male students. Suppose that the female student's average became 81 and the male student's average turned out to be 91. Both male and female average scores became better Yet, one day, the school's principal called the teacher asking why she became worse at teaching, since the average of the class dropped to 86%. Hey, 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 mind blown every day. It is also important to notice that even if you have this and this, it doesn't necessarily imply this. While the Simpsons paradox isn't as fun and exciting as the Simpsons TV show, it should be taken into account when you're analyzing a set of data looking for a trend. It poses the following dilemma. Which data should you consult when choosing an action? The partitioned or the aggregated? Also, in our first example, did the class become better or worse. Please leave your opinion in the comments below. If you like it, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Also, I'll put some links in the description down below about the Simpsons Paradox in case you find it interesting. Stay awesome!